off. I don't know if I'm going to do the plot right now, actually. I kind of want um, that absurdly good armor, and then maybe I'll go check out the fire and mist realms. <sighs> So we're in the armor section. Oh yeah. Cool down. Cool down. Cool down. So I can bring up my cooldown by around 50-ish. So I can bring it up to 70. That's interesting. Resistance to all status effects. That's really good. Welcome to the show. I'm doing a bit of upgrading. stats so maybe vitality or luck Ooh, that might be good hmm increase all burn damage by inflicted by 25% I think I'll go with that, actually. That'll be real nice for the blades. <clears throat> oh yeah, speaking of the blades. New fucking skills. Yeah, we got. Switch stances by pausing momentarily after any blades of chaos attack. Once a new stance, press that. Whew, excuse me. 3,000, I will take it. Spear of Chaos creates a minor fire explosion on contact, burning, inflicting burning damage. So, so when it hits, it does burning damage. to charge up the blades even further and release a powerful elemental slash inflicting burn. Nice. Hold it for longer. Spear got an upgrade and I can do a pause for alternate stance occasionally. That doesn't feel that much longer. Just need a little help from you lot. Oh yeah. Let's make sure that's on there. Goals. Side. Hail to the king. Retrieve the ingredients to craft the dwarven armor of legend. Ah. <laughs> runic attack. Oh, they give you a runic attack. Nice. And the set recipe. Interesting. I kind of really want to do that right now. The key has got to be for that crazy door downstairs. Hidden around the back. Remember? I remember. What is to you? <laughs> oh, I love that shit.
You're right. Now that we've got the key, we can open that big door anytime we want. Let's explore. Shit, do you get there? This path? Maybe I should shortcut to it. Why did you work for Odin if he's so horrible? It's my career! And if you mean to make your career as a counselor to kings, you can't very well rule out petty maniacs. Available positions are scarce enough. My first master was a cruel piece of work as well, but I learned through him the enduring power of wit, which served me well with kings and gods alike. And we'll pick this up later. I really like that they'll hold on to that conversation and pick it up later. That is fucking cool. I'm confused. I always heard that Baldur's mother was Frigg. Aye, Frigg. Well, that's more of a pet name, you see. It means beloved, something Odin called Freya after they wed. Out of affection at first, or so I like to believe. As things turned sour, it became a way to manipulate the truth. How so? Odin didn't want Freya, a Vanir goddess, getting credit for anything in Asgard. So anything worthy she accomplished was attributed to Frigg. Like being Baldur's mother. That's right! Freya was Baldur's mother all along. <sighs> Pretty clever. Oh, this is going to be another dragon. Oh. I know it. Ah. I can see it happening with the blades more often because of the AoE.
Look here. It says, Glory to Motsigir, the Dwarf King. May his reign be long, prosperous, and filled with peace. Hmm. Greetings, and welcome to Conan's Guard. I just want to make sure you're good and prepared before heading in any further. There's all manner of nastiness left over from the Mad Dwarf King's foul practices. What kind of practices? Oh, various... sacrificing, dark enchantments, blood, magic, and so forth. Quite common among the older dwarves, unfortunately. Old habits are hard to break. Okay. I'm feeling creative today. Nope. Nothing new. Sometimes the best purchase is the one we don't make. Huh? Whoa. Look. It's another dragon. I see it, boy. Yeah. Chain. I don't see it. I hope we can find the binding shrines. This place is huge. Dragon. Kid is freaking out. There he is. Very different design. Hostiles up ahead. Are we attacking? Focus up! <laughs> Satisfying. Uh, my ear just doesn't want to deal with this right now.
better regroup too. If the Dwarf King captured more than one dragon, he must have needed them to create this legendary armor. Interesting thought, lad. And it makes sense. Nearly everything about dragons is useful and contains power. Teeth, scales, even excrement. Excrement? Yeah. Uh, shit. Dragon shit is powerful? Hi, <laughs> lad. Totally powerful. That is having fun with you. Oh, I, I need to... Aw, I wish I could have just listened to that instead of kicking someone's ass. <laughs> Shit is awfully powerful. Alright, it's activated. One vicious son of a bitch! Thank you. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of places to go. There's one. That's an impressive front door. These materials must be pretty special to make a legendary armor. This legendary armor better be worth the trouble. But if Brock and Sindri make it together, I'm sure it's worth the effort. Don't you trust them at least? I trust you, Atreus. I do not trust the legend. Oh. Fuck. That's one of the most meaningful things he said yet. Looks like it needs three entry stones. Uh, where'd you get that? Oh, right. Let's see this.
done. A step in the middle somehow. Or it goes a long way around. Whoa! Oh, just regular.
Enemies ahead! I'm feeling pretty powerful. I feel like this was supposed to be done a while ago. Or, what no? It's just my side questing. Another one. Stone number two. This place is even bigger than Vathergar. Yes. The Dwarf King's reach appears vast. Wonder what happened to him. Tis a great mystery, even amongst the sons of Ivaldi. Lots of Nier's behavior before his disappearance grew increasingly erratic. Why? The Devegrath Eker. The very armor you find yourself searching for. Though he found two, I'd wager his failure to find the third ingredient drove him to madness. I'm 
have expected to find it. strong here. Keep your guard up. you wrong. strong. <laughs> Kid's a little glitchy today.
empty circles around. <clears throat> It doesn't matter. Dragon would be a bit more supportive, seeing how we're trying to feed it. <laughs> oh, easy.
Yeah, if you fucking lightning them to death, or stun them with lightning, you can just take your time with that. Look here. Yes, sir. I love the reflections Hold on. in your Let me eye. read this. Armor so badly. What's so special about it? There are many legends behind the debate, Grafita. A suspicious amount of legends, which makes confirming anything about this particular armor difficult. But the one constant among them is the ability of the armor to offer ultimate protection. A useful attribute for an unpopular king, you see. Yet this plague land is all that remains of him. This is why you do not trust legends, boy. Well, what can you trust? Yourself, your eyes, your instincts. Blind trust in a legend is a gamble. And rarely does it pay off. If you say so. Last one. Let's Dude. go, Prince. I. Fine. I just didn't see that one at all last time I was through here. Oh, 
ultimate protection. Best protection in the game. Expect. I don't know. Less ruin, I guess. Maybe the throne room's in better shape. Look here. Another. Starcatcher. Wow. That's a lot of arms. That's fair to say. Six? Seven? Eight? Could he shoot four bows at once? More of a swordsman. He did only have the two eyes. It looks like Thor come down to size. It's what he does. the rate of permafrost by seven. Nice. That makes two of them. That's 25%. This is only 7%. Well, it's the rate of permafrost gained. So you get it 14% faster. Almost 20%. Hmm. No, I use my blades more. But it is good to know that I have that now. eyes and ears are everywhere. Who's the raven god? Odin is the raven god? That doesn't sound right. Couldn't have just come in through one of these. Whatever. It's all about the design, I guess. Do you hear that? No. What do you hear, boy? Crying. And screams. Oh, shit. Large crowd of people. Ah, uh, just old spirits, I suppose. Leftover victims of the Mad Dwarf's reign. Still, that's rather ominous. Yeah. They're getting louder. They sound almost like... Hellwalkers!
lot of Hellwalkers. Hey, look at this. Blood Bear. Rare Blades. Low perk activation chance to grant a health burst on any successful kill. Hmm. I still like these. Where's the passage behind this throne? A secret passage! Well, wouldn't be a proper throne room without a secret passage. That was ominous. I thought it was an enemy tracking something. What is this here for? Very odd design. Huh. Okay. Look here. <laughs> he really pushes me out of the way. Ah, I was wondering about this.
that blue. The things you pulled from him. Those must be the three mythical ingredients Brock was talking about. I can say with utmost certainty that I've never laid eye on a stranger set of objects in my life. How are Brock and Sindri supposed to build with... whatever they are? Don't count the dwarves out, lad. They're right pricks, but they're resourceful. They once <laughs> made an unbreakable chain out of little more than a cat's footstep and bird spit. That doesn't even make sense. Well, that's the legend. If you want it sense, you shouldn't be talking to a severed head. True. Whoa. Deadly slam attack. That creates a small tear. Under up to four enemies before summoning a large pillar of flame beneath them. <sighs> Wow, doubles it to eight. Heavy, huh? It's a little slow, but I'll try it out. Do this. God, there's so much sacrifice to come up. This place looked like in better times. Conan's guard was a beautiful land in its heyday. Before the Dwarf King's obsession poisoned his mind. How could he let that happen? The Dwarf blindly trusted in the legend and pursued it without thought to the consequences. 
this is the result. Trust is a gamble. Like you said, and the Dwarf King lost. Understand this. Nice. High chance to grant strength and health. Increases health. Interesting. to that one.
that's the only one. Right there. Well, I guess I could just mark it. health all over this place as if I haven't found one yet. Wow, not a single health drop on my way here. Whatever. something I can't figure out. Odin wants to prevent Ragnar, but the serpent's already been there and seen it. So hasn't he already failed? It's a tricky thing, lad. And Odin's just arrogant enough to think he can get the best of it. Fate is another lie told by the gods. Nothing is written that cannot be unwritten. On that, brother, you and the old father may just agree. Even if he can't prevent Ragnarok, he still hopes to learn enough details to influence the outcome. Remind me later to tell you about the wolves. The wolves. Oh, the chase of sun and moon. <gasps> Whoa. You boys look right beaming. Well, we found the materials. Mm -hmm. But they're so weird. How do you build a piece of armor out of something so... So... None yet. None yet? None your fucking business. Yeah. Trade secret. We get our ways. Oh. Heavy rig tech. Or the axe. Ooh. Like oil and water. Gold trophy. I know that one, but it's a heavy. I already got this one. I like it. You better not be fighting with your brother again. Just because he's gotten a little less annoying over the years doesn't mean I ain't got a customer base of my own to keep happy. Oh, yeah? Who's that? Well, you came back here, didn't you? Fair point. Mm hmm. Sure, I'm open. Wait, there's two of them? What the fuck? Each of them made their own? But you can only pick one? Oh, that's dickish. Alright, uh, Brox increases the rate at which rage is gained by 10%. That sounds really good. Moderate perk activation chance to grant a protective barrier preventing damage from enemy attacks when using a runic attack. Okay, so runic defense. This one is higher defense. This one is luck and cooldown. Wow, that's a lot of cooldown, actually. I wonder what the ultimate sacrifice is and where I got it.
it would be very nice. You get 30% more every time. Uh, increase burn damage by 15. No. Dude, why are you gonna do that to me? I think I'm gonna have to go with rage though. Trouble. Nice, it has their symbol on it. That's cool. That's cool. Increase the rate of reach. Which is good. Where were Oops. we on that other thing? Let's get to it. Now I can just buy them. That's weird. Yeah. Now it just costs money. That's very strange. Okay, well that's cool. I guess you're not going to cut out of using those. Nobody's twisting your arm. Let's just try it out. Thirty percent max. So I think that's redundant because the suit gives me ten each. Increase the rate, rate of gain. Stacks up to thirty percent. So this is redundant. Just 10%. So I can 
to use that one. Reduce the rage cost using attacks. Yeah. High chance for strength and a burst of health when Creos helps help health drops low. High granting runic when health drops low. Yeah. A little bit of everything. like that? I don't think so. Destroy burst. Let a successful runic attack kill. Rage cost. 15%. I lost a lot of vitality. Wow, it was like 80 before. Increase all burn damage inflicted by 25%. That sounds pretty good. This is kind of a weird build. Hmm. Uh, I lost all my buffs.
don't know. This doesn't seem like the perfect armor. The traveler armor is kind of the shit. Well, I guess the traveler armor is only really great for vitality. This is better in every other way. I can't give up fucking 20 vitality. I don't want to be at 40 vitality. I've gotten used to it. I like it. I think I'm going to go off show for a little bit. You know, I, wanna, I do want to record going to the other realms. I definitely want to try the fire realm and the, um, the mist realm. <sighs> Screw it, I'm just going to turn on the AC. This is going to be a hum. But goddamn, I'm getting fucking warm.
Do you get concussion blast on you? Standard heavy finisher. defense on my ass. That's the best defense I got. Best defense I got. Oh, it's actually better.
Let's sort you out.
heard what it sounds like with a fucking fan on. But I don't know if I can have it off. It is so fucking warm right now. something cool, like high chance, low chance, some kind of chance of something just random. See you next, where's I see you? Hmm. See if I can activate more of those torches. Atreus, to me. Where are we then? Oh yes, my first job. I couldn't have been much older than you when I started. A fairy king's errand boy and unofficial jester. By night, my mates and I had the run of the forest. Good fellows they called us. Neighbor spikes to the last. We'd get up to all manner of mischief, making fools of the local mortals. But as long as our lord was kept amused, we were spared the consequences. Oh. Then one day he was not amused. And I saw fit to move on. Thankfully, the ages and roads traveled since then have turned me from that merry wanderer into the paragon of virtue you see before you today. That's so cool that the dragon is there permanently. Another name. Gunnar. It's as if they've been made into a memorial to the Valkyries. Hmm. 
Excuse me. Happened to the city. I'm not entirely sure, lad. It was abandoned long before Jormungandr came to town and flooded the place. Hmm. I wonder what it was like to live here. Another name. Or someone who loved the Valkyries enough to do this. I wonder. Perhaps the Queen. see people out there. <sighs> I have no rage to work with either. This is gonna be great. Doesn't seem. 
Take me down there then. to two of them just by going and collecting shit. And then we've been to two others, so that's four. One is a giant girl. Giants. Which means there's two more realms. I am 
fucking loving how long this game is. Amir, how'd you come to be in these lands? Lad, there comes a time in every man's life when he changes his name and heads north to make a new start. If you live long enough to do this many times over, you might end up as far north as this place. By the time I arrived, I already knew Odin by his reputation, and so I set to demonstrate my worth by coming to him with something I knew he'd value. A mystic well of knowledge. Or rather, I should say, a well of water laced with enough mystic mushrooms to make a god see visions. Oh, he was rightly impressed. Can't say for sure what he saw that led him to try gouging out his own eyes, but I managed to restrain him before he finished the job. Then I persuaded him it has been his sacrifice made for an even higher form of sight to be bestowed. Blah, de blah, de blah, de blah. I used to think he never caught on, but the day he took my eye, I realized he had never been fooled. He hmm. knew I'd outwitted him called the lesson wisdom and hired me to make sure from then on I was on his side and for a long long time I truly was doesn't mean he didn't hold a grudge <laughs> I really like the mirror he wanted to gouge out his own Another name. Here, Drupal. Someone who loved the Valkyries enough to do this? I wonder. Perhaps the Queen? Mimir, I still don't get why you ever wanted to work for Odin. Back then, I was young enough to still be ambitious. The Aesir gods were as powerful a force as I'd come across, but they clearly lacked for strategy, focus, and sage counsel. All this could I faithfully provide. And so, a stranger from a far-off island found himself with Odin's ear, trusted as he trusted no one but himself. And with that kind of power, laddie, I must confess, there are perks. Yeah, but he's Odin. I never claim to be perfect, laddie. Only clever. And often too clever by half. But what'd you do to get Odin so mad at you? Well, for a long time my job was to enable Odin. And I was fucking excellent at it. Gradually, as I grew more to care about 
people and world. My job became to contain him, to protect him from himself. By serving peace, I served his interests as well. That's the truth. But he saw it as disloyalty. No longer trusting my motives, but not wishing to part with my brain or tongue, he bound me to a tree and adopted a new pastime of casual torture. Well, I'm glad we came along to cut off your head. Aye, lad. Lucky break that was. I can't believe no one has found the Jotunheim Tower after so many years. Where would you hide something that big? Another name. Rota! Why the arcane runes? Perhaps we're meant to find something in Muspelheim and Niflheim. Muspelheim and Niflheim. I still can't believe that there's two whole worlds, realms, that are optional. And they just hint at it, like, oh yeah, you found the language, you can go there now. Oh, I missed that one. Yeah, I don't know, just, it feels wrong, almost, to go to a completely new world before it's been talked about. It was such a fucking big deal. We even went to our very first one. And the lady was like, or er, she was talking about how cool this was. And the two more rooms still get mediated. Unlocked. You're familiar with the tale of Skoll and Hottie, bringers of day and night. Oh yeah, the wolf giants. Aye. They were born of the arch-wolf Hrothwitnir, a great nemesis of the Aesir gods. And we'll pick this up later. Okay, yeah. Another name. Hilder. Huh. That's all the ones I see. How are we supposed to light the braziers on a tower that's not there?
Alf Alfheim. The light elves make sure to watch over Midgard. I haven't seen any light elves in Midgard. tempted to go treasure hunting. These are cool though. I'm finally tired. <sighs> Let's not forget to save. Oh, I'm so glad there's so many things to do. the day or the night. I may do some stuff off show, I don't know, but I'm definitely going to try and debut the two new realms, the Fire Realm and the Fog Realm. Oh, I do not look forward to the Fog Realm. Uh, on camera, tomorrow. So, today was a really good session. I'm so glad this game just keeps going. And, um, yeah. This was not very zen gaming. Thanks for watching. This was God of War. Um, until tomorrow. Later. <laughs>